वेलकम ट्रांसपोर्ट से मान लेते बात करते हैं डॉक्टर वेलकम और कुछ ये दिन डॉक्टर अनुप केतरी प्लीज कर दिया I would like to call upon Dr. Ashwini Akram, Coordinator Gyan, to come up and introduce the Gyan Initiative and Goals. A very warm welcome to everyone who are present here today. Professor Somna Patil, Associate Dean, Associate Dean Administration and Acting Director of the Institute currently. Professor Manmen Patak, the Dean Faculty of AS, Dr. Anup K. Sri, Associate Dean RD, the Head of Department Physics, Dr. Ajay Thakur, and our other colleagues, students, participants joining this event. It's a great pleasure for all of us to welcome Professor Partha Banerjee, uh, former Professor and former Chair of Electro Optics and Phonotics, and Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering, Director of Holography and Metamaterial Labs at University of Dayton, USA. To deliver the GAN course on the digital dynamic and dynamic holography with application. His area of specialization include digital holography, metamaterials, nonlinear optics, photorefractive, and acousto optics. And thus, uh, we, we are ensured that next six days we are going to have a lot of fruitful learning experience here at IIT Patna. Also, I would like to thank and welcome Professor Kehar Singh, uh, ex professor IIT Delhi. A pioneer in the field of optics and holography in India, a Santi Saru Bhatnagar awardee, to visit us and to agree to give a talk on the history of holography today. He is actually uh, also the PhD supervisor of Professor Nishal, who himself is a senior most and a founding faculty member of our institute, 
who has seen and contributed to the growth of IIT Patna through all things and things. If I talk about the GAN course, the aim of the, uh, the GAN, that is Global Initiative of Academic Networks courses approved by the government of India, have been to tap ta the talent pool of scientists and entrepreneurs internationally to encourage their engagement with the Institute of Higher Education in India and to augment our country's existing academic resources, accelerate the pace of quality reforms, and elevate India's scientific and technological capacity to global excellence. If I talk about IIT Patna, we have com completed 28 GAN courses till now in the various fields of technology and engineering. Uh, and this one will be the 29th. And so I'd like to congratulate uh, Professor Naveen Nishal for coordinating this course under GAN scheme and specifically conducting this in offline mode, which is, I think, uh, second or third one after the COVID uh, offline GAN courses happening at IIT Patna. And for all the arrangements he has made for its smooth running. With this word, I would again like to welcome and thank Professor Park Banerjee and other esteemed dignitaries present here today. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your insightful words. This has indeed set the energy high amongst all of us present here. Next, I would like to request the head of department. Dr. Ajay Thakur to kindly come up on stage and introduce our department and the works and projects we are involved in. A very good morning to everyone. Honorable dignitaries on the dais and audience, faculty colleagues, students, participants for this event. So physics department at IIT Patna been actively working on the, a number of traditional and modern disciplines with a focus on both basic and applied research. We are currently 16 faculty members in our department working over a diverse range of areas uh, starting from energy storage, uh, optical image encryption, quantum techniques, functional materials for a wide variety of applications that includes nanomaterials for sensing, uh, materials for energy, materials for environmental remediation. There are people working on uh, EIT and quantum memory. There is a, a group which is working on uh, nano, uh, nanomaterial that usage of that in biophotonics. So uh, besides that, we have high energy physics uh, colleagues, both in theory and experiment, uh, a group working in atomic collision. And I, I hope I have not missed anyone. There is, uh, there's also a, within the condensed matter group, there are about eight people uh, with a wide variety of uh, search in both theory and experiments. We have optics and uh, photonics, which is about four people, uh, atomic collision, quantum techniques. And uh, so, like our department has still now produced about 36 PhD students, and we had an MPIC program uh, out of which there have been 61 MPIC pieces, which have been, which have been produced. There have been 76 MSc uh, students uh, since 2016 when the MSc program has been launched, they have graduated, and currently we have a department students strength of about 180. So, uh, like our department also has a FIST uh, project in within which we are, we have developed facilities on surface probe, uh, so it's basically a variety of scanning show techniques. There are uh, projects worth about 14 crore that have been implemented in the department. And just to give you an update, in this academic year, uh, we have submitted about 17 projects worth around four and a half crores. So I'm hoping for the best. So uh, I would like to welcome Professor uh, Partha Banerjee and Professor Kiral Singh that we are really delighted to have you on campus. And I congratulate uh, Professor Nishal for organizing this event. This event will definitely uh, invoke and excite 
the community or the student community over here in the areas of uh, like holography and its applications. And I wish everyone a very fruitful conference. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sir, for such a stimulating address. Now, I would like to call upon Dr. Anup Kesri, Associate Dean R&D, to please come up and deliver his address. Respected dignitaries, on dais, Professor Dr. Banerjee from University of Dayton, Professor K.S. Singh, and Professor from IIT Delhi, Professor Ajay Thakur, Head of the Department, Physics Department, and Professor Sumanthi Party, our Associate Dean Admin, Professor Manandra Patak, our Dean Faculty Affair, Course Coordinator, Professor Levin Nishchan, my other faculty colleagues, dear participants, and all the students. Very good morning to all of you. It gives me much happiness about this course which is going on about the DN course on the digital and analytic photography with application. Now, so as a active, as an associate in RD, let me give you the about the brief about the uh, research and development ambience at IIT Patna. So if you try to see that the research ambience at IIT Patna is very much vibrant. If I have to say this, that is very much vibrant. Let me justify this statement with the facts and figures. Now, when we try to see that our faculty members and the research scholars are publishing the research work, and if you try to see that they are, you know, where they are publishing, you will be finding it out. Most of the work has been published in a peer-reviewed international journal where the acceptance rate is less than fifteen percent. Now, when we talk about that, you know, publishing the book chapters and also writing the books there are several books have already been published recently you can see that the work the book which has come out of the water scarcity contaminant and management which has been written by the civil department again so this book has got the much much interest into the middle east europe and asia now i'm very happy to say that our iit patna has then the first has made the first battery management system, which is first of its kind in India. Now, we have five till now 50 patents. Out of this, 10 patents have already been granted. Now, when we are talking about the cutting edge research technology or, and doing the cutting edge research, we really need a lot of the fundings. And when we try to see that, the funding, how we are getting it, our faculty members are expert in getting the funds from the national and international agencies. Since the inception of IIT Patna, we have bought around 300 crores of the project. And for the number, if we try to see that, it is around 700 numbers, including the sponsored research, consultancy, as well as the workshop and other conferences. Now, when we talk about, about offering the consultancy, our civil department is doing much ahead on to this, and they are doing the consultancy for most of the national agencies, also for the Institute of the Bihar. If we try to see that the consultant work, the consultancy work which has been done by the civil department is, and throughout all of our, all of our IIT Patna is around 20 crores, which we have already done the consultancy. Now, when we, when we try to see that the funding from where we are getting this, we can, we can see that on the national and international agencies, like most of the time we are getting the funding from the DST, SCRB, ISRO, DRDO. And if we try, try to see the private agencies like Tata Steel, Tata Motors, Denka, Japan, then Sony, then Volvo. So these are the companies which is giving the funding to us. Now, when we try to see that the MOUs which has been which has been already been signed, we are signing the MOUs with a lot of the national and international agency again. So till now we have we have already signed 
80, 80, 80, around 85 MOUs with the different agencies, out of which 70 agencies are from the national agency and 15 are from the international agency. I'm happy to again announce that recently we have signed the MOUs with the Bureau of Indian Standards. So now, so this giving you the you know a little bit feel about that how our research and development culture is going at IIT Patna, and our research scholars are working day and night very much tirelessly for for taking it to the next level. Few of the research papers, which let me let me shine it in front of you, that which has been published by the various department, and these this work has been published in like advanced materials. Then ACS Nano. Then Applied Physics later, General for Applied Physics, Langview. So these are the these are the research papers. When we try to see that where the top notch international universities are publishing to this. So again, so with this now, we can we can find it out that how IIT Patna research culture is going on. And one more announcement that we give it to you that. One of the mega projects which has been, which has been, uh, which has been, you know, just got it by the our on river director said around 97 crore for establishing the center of excellence for the Bihar of the state. Also, we are getting the center of excellence by other faculty members from the different agencies, and we are establishing the center of excellence at IIT Patna in the different fields. So with this now, let me conclude that my talk, and I will not take much of your time. I really wish all of the participants a great best of luck and all the success in this program. Thank you so much. Sorry to come here again. Uh, so while I was giving an extempore speech, I think I have missed out an important contribution the department towards the uh, local landscape. So our department is actively engaged in uplifting the quality of education in plus two schools in Bihar. And incidentally, the convener of this program, Mr. is one of the five students, I think, along with Professor Vidam Kumar. And uh, within this, uh, IIT Patna is planning to uh, uplift the lab quality in plus two schools. There are about 50 schools in which are planned in this scheme within the coming year. And uh, not only these uh, lab facilities would be developed there, but uh, in fact, training of the school teachers and you know, engagement with them so that they can continue with this. So we hope that this will uh, overall change the landscape of education within this state over next decade. Thank you. Sorry for missing this. Now I would like to kindly call upon Professor Manavendra Pathak, Dean of Faculty Affairs, to kindly address the gathering. <coughs> Dignitaries of Jaya, Professor Banerjee, Taekwondo University, Professor Casey, ex professor from IIT Delhi, Professor Samna Tripathi, Professor Navin Vista, course instructor, Dr. Anukesri, Edin RMD, Dr. Rosini Asam, the uncoding in the IIT Patna. My other colleagues, your participants, very well and welcome uh, to this program on digital holography, digital and dynamic holography and its application. First of all, uh, we are very grateful for Professor Benarzi, who has come a long way to deliver and to share his past experience on this subject matter. Obviously, his enormous knowledge will enlighten all of us as a less participant. Then the uh, Indian speaker, Professor Navin Dissal, he is also distinguished 
Results are in this field. And already Sinha's an expert. He's one of the founder faculty of this institute also. And we can see his perfect um, as well as his valuable contribution in every aspect. And definitely this program will be also a very successful one in terms of learning, in terms of sharing knowledge. As you know, IIT Patna, this is a 14 years old institute, and we have moved to the campus in 2015. And last seven years, definitely, we have worked in hard or dog work. At present, we have uh, 135 faculty members, and you know, all the faculty members are very dynamic. We are only the senior most of this career faculty here, and on an average, the Faculties are very rare, but this age is also around 40 only. So you can see that is the fruitful year, and definitely we are getting a lot of product also. As uh, recently we have concluded convocation, and they are for the first time 102 numbers of PhD students will be admitted. So almost every faculty has produced one PhD during last year. So that is a very positive sign. And research already, that's why Anup has told details about the research. Along with research, our faculty members are also involved with lots of other societies of them, like international PR. And they have contributed in Bihar School for setting up basic laboratories in science area, as well as in Polytechnic, we are setting up some excellence uh, the center. Uh, so besides research, then teaching definitely here, admin load is also too much because it is an evolving institute. But even then, our faculties are doing very good work. Uh, at present, we have paid academic department and students rank is also around 3000. And we have different PhD program, BTEC program, uh, BTEC in engineering uh, as well as in so there are eight programs in BTEC level, nine in AMTEC, and MSc in three uh, departments. So definitely institute is growing so that you can see their participants who are very thankful. You have come from the current part of India and you are assembled here. So definitely for fixing you, our expert has come a long way. So I hope this program will be very, very fruitful as well as yours, they will be also comfortable. Once again, I thank Professor Anavini sir for arranging this young uh, course and wish you the best success. Thank you. Next up, we are delighted to have amongst us Partha P. Benerjee. Let me introduce all of you to Partha P. Banerjee is a professor and former chair of Electro Optics. He was chair, co-chair of OSAC Digital Holography Topical Meetings in 2010, 2016, 2019, 2021, and 2020, and was topical editor of the journal Applied Optics from 2012 to 2016. He is a fellow of Optica, RDL, that is Optical Society of America, 
SPI and Institute of Physics IO. He, he is a senior member of IEEE. He received the NSF Presidential Young Investigator Award in 1987. In 2019, he was introduced into the International Order of Hall of Life. This is this introduction is really very motivating to all of us, I feel. Like to call upon him to address us. Thank you very much. I will be with you for the next two weeks. So one hour. Uh, certainly, I would like to give my utmost thanks to the me to apply with him. But I certainly very delighted to come here. Certainly also like organizers behind me. Yeah. I would also certainly like to thank uh, Professor Pierre Day, who I know for decades, and the entire group that I built, who have been really proficient, mainly Professor Rajay Hatta, Jayad Rajan, Vidhi Kapal, certainly Professor Pierre Day, have been a uh, guiding light for me over many days. And certainly, I respect their knowledge and the vastness of their experience and details. So I would like to certainly very much thank Professor Kerr Singh to come and introduce this. So I would like to give him that. And certainly to his very able students, uh, Dr. Nolimita, who is uh, continuing with the light and the flame. So I Wish him all the best as also one of the founding members of IIT to continue the tradition, bring up the IIT to the standards of every other IIT, founding IIT. I would also like to uh, thank everyone for present here. I'm very bad in name. When I was at first year at IIT Parapur, I was bad because I did not remember the name. <laughs> it's uh, many uh, hours of my uh, time sitting on men's chairs on top of the uh, closets and all kinds of places because I did not remember their name. So I'm going to read some of them from here. So certainly, I would like to first start by uh, thanking in this order Dr. Ashwini Assam, Dr. Ajay Kapoor, Dr. Anil Keshmi. Professor Manvendra Baka and Professor Soma Sikarsi. And I hope, I'm sure I've left, well, I'm sure I've left out some names, but my apologies for that. And thank everyone in this campus who have organized. So, once again, thank you very much. And I will be certainly talking with you much more over the next two weeks and look forward to a very nice interaction. And once again, like I tell all my students, uh, postdocs, uh, PhD students, uh, we are all colleagues. So uh, feel free to uh, ask me anything. Thank you once again. We have here Professor K. H. Singh from Optics and Photonics Center and ex Professor of Physics, IIT Delhi. Let me introduce all of you today. <laughs> Professor K. H. Singh served as a member of the faculty at IIT Delhi since 1965 in various capacities. He was an academic visitor at Imperial College of Science and Technology in London during 1969 to 1970. 
and carried out research for short period at British Scientific and Industrial Research Association, SIRA, here in Queen's University, Belfast, and National Physics Laboratory, Teddington. He was one of the directors of the IT at Second Winter College in Optics held at ICTB, Siastra Italy, in 1995. He served as the cluster college in Optics. Sorry. He served as a cluster chair at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology, Switzerland, in 2002. Until 2011, he served as an emeritus professor at IIT Delhi, where he continued to teach and carry out research and consultancy. Since 2011, he has been an honorary distinguished research professor at ITM North Campus, University, Gurgaon. Professor Singh served for a number of years as chairman of the Research Council IRT in DRDO and a member of the Cluster Advisory Council for a group of DRDO laboratories. He also served as a member of the Research Council of National Physics Laboratory in New Delhi. In 2015, he was nominated as an associate editor of Optics Express and served for two terms until 2021. Professor Singh has been an active researcher and educator and created infrastructure facility for teaching and research in his area of specialization, that is photonics, information optics, in image information and evaluation, dynamic holography, nonlinear photorefractive, optical correlators, holographic storage, digital holography, singular optics, and optical cryptography. He has also published extensively having 350 peer-reviewed research papers. Besides these, there are more than 75 review articles in books and journals and over 100 papers in conference proceedings. He has delivered more than 100 invited lectures in various international and national conferences and mass portions. Research publications by Professor Singh and co workers resulted into 31 PhDs, 75 MTECs, and a large number of MSc students have been guided in their dissertation work. Professor Singh was honored with Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Award in Physical Science in 1985 by the CSIR, Government of India. He has been awarded in 2001 the Galileo Galilei Award of the International Commission on Optics. The Optical Society of India honored him with the OSI Award and was also given Lifetime Achievement Award at the OSI Symposium and at Tapur in 2007. The Golden Jubilee Distinguished Service Award of IIT Delhi was given to him in 2011. Professor Singh was also honored in 2011 under the Golden Jubilee Honor, the mentor program of IIT Delhi. Professor Singh is a fellow of the Optica and the Indian National Academy of Engineering. In addition to being a distinguished fellow of the Optical Society of India and a fellow of the Laser and Spectroscopy Society of India. He was president of the Optical Society of India from 
The Finnish State Ministry wrote out a report saying that the uh, next century last century without ground to the These can do some of the jobs that that towns could do. Some of these jobs can be done better by robotics. Or you may say that a combination of photonics and electronics just one time. Optical communications is one of those things. There are many other areas. How will you get up in the morning? TV that is clear, which is a uh, fast growing things in the Is revolutionizing the way to look at the device. The of uh, almost all the optical components, which we have. You have uh, natural sensing, perhaps detectors, these dividers, detectors, lasers. We have optical uh, integrated circuits, only integrated circuits, just as we had uh, integrated electronic circuits. Programming storage allows uh, storage of information. Marriage so, of holography and metamaterial. Fantastic results. Earlier, holograms were recorded on photographic production. Polymer, scatter material, and holographic. CPD, the numerical values, etc. Just that. Now it's possible to write holograms on data materials on manual scale. So you can think of future. Yeah. So I can few of these devices with power training from others. Right now, some stories to start here with the uh, microwaves in fact. Very easy to make that. Uh, I think microwave week. Slowly, this took place in such a rapid manner that uh, the microwaves will provide them to be built. Now we are talking to the so the size of the devices has really shrunk. Just as the electronic is from two to some distance. So holography has immense possibilities 
of reiterating the devices. Then we will program the PTU. Uh, we have the holographic storage, holographic display. We will make sure. The credit are working very hard. Television. Holographic movies or large scale audience. In small scale, this has been possible. Let's say for 20 30 people sitting in a room, this place is possible. How do you Then you can try it down. The fact is that really funny. You get glimpses of uh, some of these areas, particularly just at home, I think it's a little bit of the house. What I will do is to give introduction to early holographics. This will be a storytelling session with not text or mind. It will be really the daughter, character, talks on this, on heroes in the story, in this story. So that would be but for now, and I know. Thank you very much for the thank you all for the thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for introducing such uh, Young student, Naveen, Professor Naveen Kinishan, under whom today I got to work with. <laughs> now, we have Professor Somnath Tripathi, Associate Dean at the Administration and Acting Director, IIT Patna, to deliver his address. Technical and Computer Engineering, University of Data, USA, and Foreign Speaker of Discourse. Professor Fiji Sriparshan, and Course Coordinator for Discourse. Professor Manamandra Bhattar, Faculty of Health. Officer Anu Kesin, Associate in Arrangement. Officer Ajay Thakku, Head of the Department. Officer Ashwini Assam, Gyan Coordinator, IIT Patna. My colleagues, participants from different organizations and participants from the morning job. At the outset, I, on behalf of IIT Patna, express our warm welcome to IIT Patna. IIT Patna was established in 2008 and started its operation in the transit campus at Patyaputra Pradhan. It has shifted to its permanent campus uh, here at Vita in 2002. At present, we have 10 departments and about 3,000 students with well infrastructure and world class knowledge facilities. We are expecting a 650 karate block. Facility in the next couple, next couple of months. In the recent release of NDRA survey 2022, conducted by India Today Group, IIT Patna ranked 10th among the government Indian college and 9th in the government college with placement records, and 2nd in the MRD government Indian college. Digital holography is an interesting topic, and I believe. Conducting this course is timely. I'm happy to see that the course covers from history to introduction of digital and dynamic holography to its advanced topics and applications. We source the meticulous planning of the course coordinator and the policy. I thank Professor Parthabanaji for accepting our invitation and he will ask in the first week for the 
वन वी प्रोग्राम एंड डेरिवेटिव फ्रैक्चर्स तब से पार्ट बना दी एंड इंट्रोड्यूस बाय इस मानस वो रिसीव ही डिटेक्ट इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियर फ्रॉम आईटी खरगपुर एंड एमएस एंड पीएचडी फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ आयोवा ही इज स्पेशलाइज्ड इन ऑफ डिजिटल फोटोग्राफी एंड आर्थर ओवरटेल एंड सिक्स टेक्स्ट बुक्स 11 बुक चैप्टर एंड 300 रिसर्च पब्लिकेशंस इन रेप्यूटेड कॉन्फ्रेंसेस एंड जर्नल्स वी प्लीज आई मस्ट कंग्रेचुलेट प्रोफेसर नवीन सर टू प्लान एंड ऑर्गेनाइज दिस इंटरेस्टिंग कोर्स also i congratulate the participants to get an offer to join in to this course i wish all the participants in or engage their knowledge in this topic build collaboration and enjoy the in iit patna thank you thank you everyone for being present here Now I would like to call Nabeel sir for giving the. Uh, I request uh, our uh, the Sona Tripathi, our acting director and associate in administration, honor both the distinguished speakers. <laughs> Yes, sir. Fortunately, we have today one more guest. Fortunately, he has come here, Dr. Yogesh Kumar, deputy superintendent of. So I request my student to welcome him with a. Now it is my turn. In between, I forgot to introduce the. Audience, to tell something about this course. Namaskar and very good morning to everyone here. I'm the old professor Parka Bedarisi, instructor of this young course on digital and dynamic photography with applications. Respected guru, mentor, and teacher, Professor Kaya Singh sir, all my faculty colleagues, colleagues from administration. I have to introduce this course. So, being a coordinator and co-instructor of this global initiative on academic network course, the yeah, other course on digital and dynamic photography with application, I extend my warm welcome to all the participants. It's a one-week fully residential course, supported by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. The aim of the course is to encourage the budding researchers into the fascinating field of digital and dynamic photography. In response to the advertisement of this course, we received overwhelming response. The shortlisted participants are from across the country. Just to name a few: University of Calcutta, CSIR Central Scientific Instruments Organization (CSIO) Chandigarh, Nilesar Bhubaneswar, MIT Jamshedpur, Sovan Singh Jena University, a state university from Alberta. Due to travel constraints, like Train reservations. Some of the participants could not make it offline. Therefore, on their request, I have allowed them to attend this course online. They are from IIT BHU Varanasi, IIT Madras, and ISRO's Inertial Systems Unit from Trivandrum. During the course, there will be lectures and tutorials, and we will try to have some laboratory demonstrations as well. Also, a visit to different research laboratories has been planned. In addition to the regular lectures and tutorials, there will be one popular lecture today, in this just after this inaugural session by Professor Kaya Singh sir, on the history of photography. You will come to know the ancient days, uh, the beginning of the photography topic. This photography was discovered by Professor Davis Gabor, who 
when he was in London. And Sir was also there, so he used to have meet him and learn more about that. Later on, in 1971, Professor Dennis Kevon received the Nobel Prize for this discovery. Digital holography, another version of optical holography, where instead of recording the interference pattern on the photographic film, a digital sensor is used, like a digital camera is used. Digital holography is also described, or it can be described as an electro-optical system encompassing the abilities to record an optical wave field, a hologram on a intensity sensing device, store the captured hologram or the interference pattern in a computer memory, and reconstruct the hologram numerically at any point of time, at anywhere you look. So I can record a hologram here and that can be transmitted on the conventional channel to USA and UK and it can be decrypted here. So something about the value of the tools or the Patna city because some of the participants are from different places in the country. Patna is one of the ancient cities of the world which has had impressive and glorious past. In the modern time, it is the capital of Bihar. In the ancient time, by the name of Patliputra, it has been the capital of Masoka, the most prominent king of Mauryan dynasty and the most powerful emperor of India. Patna is situated on the banks of the Holy Ganga. The city has been the home to some of the greatest minds of all times, such as Aryabhat and Chavakya. Aryabhat's contribution to astronomy, algebra, and trigonometry is well known. In Taregana, a small suburb of Patna, Aryabhat had set up an astronomical observatory in the Sun Temple in the 6th century. It is believed that he proposed the heliocentric model and suggested for the first time that the earth revolves around the sun in Taregana. The etymology of Taregana is Tareki Garana, which means counting of stars. Chanakya's Alsastra and Niti Shastra were the first ever documented materials on political economy. Chanakya is regarded as one of the best teachers. He was instrumental in establishing the Mauryan Empire and unifying smaller states as part of the Magad and thus the Indian nation. Vaishali, which was known as the Lichavi, is the center of earliest democracy of the world. The city of Patna has been associated with Bhagwan Buddha, founder of Buddhism, Bhagwan Mahavira, founder of Jainism, and Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj, the 10th Guru of Sikhs. Around 100 kilometers away from Patna was the Nalanda University, which is known as the International Center for Dissemination of Knowledge in the Ancient Times. In short, Patna is a city with great historical importance, which has deep impact on culture and education in present time. So, and then once again, I welcome you all. So, I, two more things I have to announce that in this uh, YAM course, every day we have to have four hours lecture, two hours lectures, and two hours tutorials. We have enough time, so we have, uh, have included a few extra lectures, which is in addition to the Gyan course, approved Gyan course. And uh, we have distinguished speakers from different places. One talk will be run by one of our colleagues, uh, Professor Uttpal Raya on quantum optics. Then there will be another talk by Dr. Gautam Venugopalan from the Stanford University. He will be talking about the suspended animation of optical phases as a fundamental physics probe. And then we will have one talk by Dr. Abhishek Kumar from Nanyang Technological University, Singapore. He will talk on Terahas technology. So Dr. Gautam's talk we will have online. And in addition to this, we will have one more online talk by Professor Kira Kave from IIT Delhi. So this is all about this uh, uh, YAM course. I look forward to that uh, I look forward to more fruitful uh, discussion during this period. And when you return from the campus, you will have uh, good memories and good understanding of the subject. You need to have more discussions rather than meeting. So, a better interactive session uh, in this whole week. At the end of the week, we have to have one evaluation session, which will be held on Saturday. And fortunately, we will have one more guest coming from TRW, he is Director General from. Gladio headquarters, Sri Hari Babu Srivastam, who will be visiting us on Saturday. 
and you are with the certificates. Uh, we have a Optica student chapter here, earlier the Optica Society of America, and we will have one poster in competition on 16th of uh, this this month on Friday evening. Best post, three best post, uh, poster prizes will be awarded with the cash prizes from the Optica chapter. I look forward to your very uh, inclusive and very interactive session and stay here. Thank you so much. I must thank our respected teachers. <laughs> Both are my teachers who so have been taught by Professor Kena Singh, sir. And uh, yesterday, my student uh, was asking me, sir, so do I need to read his full biodata? <laughs> so then I said, uh, I have cut short his biodata because his biodata is a little lengthy. So, what she has read is not the complete biography of this because you can see that he joined the IIT Delhi as a faculty member in 1965. So if you count the years, it becomes 57 years from today. So many years, 57 years academic career. You can you can think of many people's uh, career becomes in the starts and finishes his life within 57 years. And I, I wish her to uh, stay more and keep blessing us. Thank you one and all. Please come for the tea and snacks. Now.
that's engaged in classified research in America and Soviet Union. Uh, mainly sponsored by uh, defense agency. So, a lot of work was not published actually. Whereas, the about work was mostly published. Next to an advantage of your board. So during the last 70 years or so, the subject has run hot and cold. So then it was visualized or it was propagated by the proponents of various uh, that this will revolutionize everything that TV. Yes, a movie that has not really Materialized on the commerce scale, commercial scale so far. So, as I said in my introductory remarks, people are working very hard on this. It's expected that during the next decades, they become possible. Mm -hmm. And if you get this, the income becomes very large. Apart from something. So, so, uh, so why are you using men? Around 1960 for yeah, so, so, yeah. so they were starting to make the first 3D autograph of Jewish Chinese So it was done with the group. The award was with the Mercury Band or Mercury Arc, printed Mercury Band. Uh, so, the subject is rich in episodes of parallel discovery, variety dispute. So this one group said that they discovered it for other group said that they discovered it. Uh, intellectual accomplishments, suspicion, local victory, and indeed lost opportunity. This will become available as we go. It was said that uh, about laser, compared to never make a joke about a use of laser or someone will take you seriously and do it. <coughs> That's what Dr. Arthur Shailo, co inventor of the laser. And just the same thing can be said about holography also. So applications are so wide that. Uh, Take any subject or any topic, and you will find an application of holography in that area. Start with agriculture, with gynecology, or whatever you can think of. There will be an And uh, mind you, today's talk is mainly concerned with optical holography. Maybe I should have. Holography is now possible at all the wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum and also for acoustical waves. <laughs> the longitudinal waves, some sound processing like for uh, matter waves, this with electron, neutron. Neutron holography was done in fact uh, only about uh, two, three years back. Satisfactory uh, <coughs> construction of stone only about two, three years. And I, I, I associate that you know, uh, of this aspect where the paper was submitted, we had a hard time concluding uh, that indeed in hologram, that is holography. I have to seek opinion from many experts and previously was concluded that uh, yes, it is. So, uh, optical holography, you know. Interference and diffraction are the basic requirements. Mm -hmm. The program you can see them. The reconstruction is diffraction. All the waves also have this character. Other waves are different. Electron waves are different. Right? Uh, caustic waves are also different. 
So there is a chart showing the contributions in holography from 47 to <coughs> not 66. So I think this has three holography. Those of you who want to wish to go into the details on this subject should read this book by Johnston, Holographic Vision, which really sounds. So I borrowed most of the materials besides materials and uh, it will be difficult to read it uh, from this place. So let me just read it for you. From 48 to 54, there was a group, group in USA headed by Paul Tip Patrick, Hussein Ersam, uh, entitled their papers as Wavefront Re Reconstruction. Incidentally, Wavefront Reconstruction was the term also used by Gabor. If you look at his uh, mobile, Prize winning article from a small post or paper nature, uh, two other papers. Same with that. The term holograph is not used. Wave front reconstruction delivery. Now, this group is not so well known. So they were made, mainly working on. Uh, Achieving X ray holography. They did optical holography also. Then Albert Bias from 1950 to 55. Uh, he called it Gaboriscopy because Gabor had already published papers in 1948. So he called his technique as Gaboriscopy. Then there was Gordon Rogers in uh, Okay. And uh, he was also one of the very early workers from 48 to 56. He called it diffraction microscopy. Okay. Unfortunately, unfortunately, for himself, he migrated to think, New Zealand or Australia. So he did this. That he okay, migrated to that place. Otherwise, some of the people are of the opinion that had he continued his work in holography in UK, he would have been a very good competitor or a very tough competitor to their war. Then uh, Dumbledore from 1950 in Germany. He himself said, in fact, in one of the articles, that uh, he published a paper in a language which was not very widely read by people at that time, and also in a journal which was mainly confined to Europe. The journal of Optica Epta. In the modern version is called Journal of Modern Optics. So it started at, uh, as Optica Epta, a very famous journal. Most of us used to publish in the journal. Uh, so he published the paper in Optica Acta in German language. Therefore, many of the scientists could not help. So the journal was mainly circulating among European countries because in USA, the Legal Society of England was the star journal. Very, very old. Again. So from 54 to 57, right in this area, 
the Lord got his Nobel Prize in 1971. So, Lohmann was also supposed to be uh, the top competitor. And, uh, he was the first person who generated a computer generated hologram. Computer generated hologram is a main, uh, a very wide subject now for the physics. So when we think of whether it's movies or uh, optical testing, display, when it's computer holography, holography for security, it's computer holography which is that means you need not record a hologram in the lab. So they call a hologram in the lab. It's available physically in the lab. But what is happening during the process of recording of the hologram? Let's say laser light or high recurrent light is being uh, if you be scattered by the object. You had a reference being taken without this interference pattern. This is the hologram. You can visualize some object, you can create a mathematical model and do these calculations on the computer. Of course, for complicated doctors like let's say this it's a three-dimensional It is scatter, it is it is dark in the scale of the wavelength of light. It will scatter light in this direction with various strengths, that means the phases and the amplitudes will vary. So how to calculate the uh, diffraction pattern of it? It needs you know, enormous optical computer, uh, computing power. To calculate the diffraction patterns of uh, the circular aperture or the slit aperture are very easy. I mean, the examples are available. Computers can calculate in very, very small fraction of time. You go further, you can take a polygonal figure, you can find the object, you can find more complicated objects. Calculations become more difficult. You think of three dimensional objects, calculations more and more difficult. Fortunately, computing powers are available now. So even for very complicated objects, you can calculate the deception pattern. But uh, it's a question of time. The time taken is still large. Then for dynamic holography or for, for uh, display, dynamic display, uh, it's not good. So one of the directions in which efforts are taking place. is to reduce the so, people are using faster and faster computers also. The techniques of handling are being exploited to reduce the calculation time. So, Weber was the father of computer holography. And since holography, computer holography is also a subject which exploded. He was supposed to be the top competitor there. Then in USA from 65 to uh, from 55 to 60. Right. University of uh, Michigan. Now working on classified problems. So Air Force College. Uh, initially there was near uh, the airfield in fact. And his uh, idea was completely different. So it's very interesting that Weber came to holography through electron microscopy. We are trying to correct the relations of electron microscope. And light came to holography through radar. He was a communication engineer. Weber was an electrical engineer. So he But but their aims were completely different. 
the air force usa council the government because they did a has done the model generates so enormous data and it was difficult to it was become difficult to process this data using digital machine digital computer so it was thought that the optical processing of the data will shorten the time okay. because now we know that optical processing is faster than the digital process and i will give you a very simple example let's say you do, want to do mathematical transform let's say you want to find out for you transform of a function fx y now imagine it affects y with an image you cannot feed an image directly to the digital computer you have to scan it you have to digitize because only digits can be fed to a digital computer right? so you have additional steps involved when you write some kind of the algorithm to evaluate the two dimensional integral function of x y then what is the result result is also in terms of the output the digital computer in terms of the video it's a different matter that you have so many points that ultimately the picture look continuous it are all very very small points on the other hand you read in the, the basic course on body optics that if you have a good lens system Set by operation. Let's say there is an optical system. In its front focal plane, you keep that image. Let's say it's in the form of a transparency. Nowadays, it could be a special object illuminated by laser. If it is in the front focal plane, out comes the Fourier transform of this image in the back focal plane of the lens, or pan, or any other focus, that which is true of this is given. So this is the result, right? Now, if you have another lens, Fourier transform plane of the first lens is the object plane of the second lens. Then this does another Fourier transform. And you get the image which is inverted. That means fx y becomes f minus f minus y. Uh, so this is a very uh, simple computer. So of course, it's special purpose of the computer. Spent the current length can do only four years on time. The one to four years on addition, subtraction, multiplication, these are more complicated according to optical system. But there are systems now, better in the laboratory, optical system for doing the addition. Uh, so, uh, maybe this is analog computer. Okay, think of the speed the moment. Distances are right. The moment you uh, put the laser on, out comes the Fourier transform. Does it the speed of light? In the early days, uh, in scientific American, the title was computing at the speed of light. The different matter that ultimately you have to detect it, or you have to record it by photographic emulsion or any other method. Or CCD, that's slowed down the process because all these detectors have their own response time. But as far as the computing is concerned, it's really being done at the speed of light. Uh, so, uh, 
So that was the motivation for that. That the entire data that is being obtained cannot be processed in fast using digital computer. So we are devising a method for uh, optically processing this kind of Okay, friends from USA, famous HS Hopkins, who had actually done PS on this. So, I found using developing a system based on those elements. But it was a classified project, that means you are not allowed to publish. And was in this connection that he hit upon the idea of holography. This was a communication engineer went to holography for treatment. Uh, as I said, in holography, the first stage is to record a holography. So, this is in recording process. Communication engineers will say it's encoding process. So, he was encoding the object information. Not directly, but still in a complicated form. But we are superimposing on the reference in an That is what, what is done in communication theory. Signal so that is the same. The signal cannot be sent directly to the various configurations. So it modulated. So communication engineers call it modulation. First stage of calling is modulation in communication theory. The first step is the modulation. So a signal is made to ride over a carrier. That's what you do in a communication. Optical communication. Radio communication. At the other end, you have to separate the carrier from the signal. So what do we call it? Demodulation. Decoding. So, uh, recording and reconstruction process is in the modulation, demodulation for communication theory or encoding and decoding the information. So, since you are the communication engineer, we thought of being a reference to this problem. Objective creating a hologram. That was done by Eva already. So, what was the contribution of light latency? Because of the availability of laser, he could record it for three dimensional objects. First, he did for transparency inside. He repeated Gamma's experiment for two dimensional objects. Lasers to make it possible, he developed a for three dimensional objects. And why? The answer is very simple. Dimensional object, you see status the light. Some of the light waves are going in that direction, this direction, this direction, this direction. Depending upon the scattering properties of the object, they have this much angle of the light. So the lot of light waves go in this direction. So depending on the object, these the size of the According to the techniques where you could compress the information in what you uh, coming back to the population, why we just help the process? It's leaving this form. Travels a certain distance, right leaving this point, travels some other distance. To the same point. And this difference of path can become larger than the coherence length of the light wave. So, you know that for uh, 146 on line of Mercury, green line of Mercury, was used by the ball. This coherence length is very small. When, whereas for lasers, it will be large, depending on what is used. It could be millimeters, it could be centimeters, it could be centimeters. 
for any uh, stabilized data, any small bandwidth of the band in terms of kilometer. So, I do So this was the reason why he could record holograms of three-dimensional objects. Is it clear? You can ask me questions if you. So uh, Gerard, in fact, in his paper wrote, he did write that if sources with high coherence then better coherence were available, he could record holograms of three-dimensional objects. How can So he was uh, to take coach to connect the top of the So so this was the group in the ESA. Adult Lohman and only talked about that. In the early stages, digital holography, computer holography, these terms are used uh, interchangeably. You will now some people use. But mainly computer holography term is used when you create a hologram using computer. Digital holography means that you record on the CPT. This is a interception. This statement probably I done. Computer holography calculates the hologram using computer. Compute and get to you. You will have to maybe see magnify it. All you can photograph the function and then you can structure it. You can. Initially, those were the ideas. Some of you you know what you are doing, there should be no confusion regarding the terminal holography. Most of the reason differentiate between computer holography and digital holography. Then there was a group in the The shot, then you show. You also are doing the same thing here, independent of what was going on in USA and Europe. You are not even familiar about that. Not even independently. He was working actually for his PhD on developing photographic emulsion. That process, he hit upon the idea of volume monogram, which can be recorded using laser light. But we construct it using white light. So this is an important class of kind of holograms which are at the bottom of the kind of holograms. Or we call a hologram physically in the lab using laser, which we construct it using laser. But let's say your whole you have to have a day of video data, show it to your friends, his first video. But a volume hologram can be recorded with a laser in the lab. Then you can sell it and uh, you can put it in your home, put a source of light, after start passing by, you can see the uh, object in three dimensions. These are also the type of holograms that you see in, uh, in the form of holograms. This is they are uh, yeah. kind of <laughs> so you can buy it and uh, daily process to come to the bridge kind of thing. White light hologram. So if you are walking in the sunlight, sunlight is falling on the 
So, uh, so the object was of this type. So this is the right leaf transmitted by which serves as the reference beam. Don't get it separate beam. So this is also called inline hole. Inline hole. So if the light reflected from this goes like this, so part serves as the reference reference beam and part. So, reference beam is generated when the object picks up. Where is the line to pass it called off axis holography? So, this is the reference beam. The object beam is coming here. In this case, if I talk about angle, small. So because it's all over my body of the object, the north is scattered lines over it. This is the reconstruction stage. We take the hologram, illuminated by this light. But there is another problem which is called the clean image form. There are two images form. And here you can take the example of the zone there. That's my problem in China. Right. We play it out in the recording machine. So if you put on that unit of three, that means the zone here. So this kind of because it's also a hologram. So, we will reference beam and we will object. Beam has to be given to me. If you illuminate it, you get an electric spot and you get two quarters. First one, second one. You get multiple order in. Video type of road case where you had prepared a fly, maybe I use the whole thing to do so I do the original numbers, then it goes for me. The obvious thing you can say that there is a special difference in here, where in the signage of the road case, the difference that they give. There is only one special paper. Are you having difficulty in hearing this? No, sir. There are some online participants. Oh. Thank you. Am I just saying this? Yes. Yeah. All right. So, twin image problem, which means one image will be superimposed on the other. So, you think from this direction, let's say, you will look at the object in that spectrum. So, that is very good. The resolution will go down. So, these were serious limitations. Could not record all the rest of the dimensional objects because of the length of the density and so on. You could not record all the rest because of this problem. Light solves this problem by off axis hologram. In this case, half difference can be finite, depending upon the type of object. So, a uh, major hurdle was solved by laser, both in terms of size of the object. And the availability of the coverage. That's why some people were out in the opinion that light should have been also in other objects, if not all by itself, the light could have been divided between the two. The dog and the dog. But then the committee 
so we can expect that there is zero order diffraction. So here also we can zero order diffraction. Okay. So the light goes like this, like this, like this. It gives rise to two just reconstruction. This is a virtual image and then the real image. Here the image is what? Uh, not usually used, at least for uh, display applications or display applications, because in this, the perspective is can be the perspective is reversed. That means the parts in the object which were nearer to you will be reconstructed farther away from and vice versa. Visually, nobody would like to look at this kind of object. But it has very major application now in various other uh, is called a phase complicated. So the, the phases are reversed. You can take some of the waves as good for the energy. So, so the space conjugate wave is not called the energy. But for visual applications, we are saying not very much with reconstruction of the things. So you look at the virtual image. Why do you see this? Your eye. Looks at the image and looks at the looks at the waveform, so it can form the wave and then it is. You can see. It so it means that the perspective is right. So this object near will be reconstructed. So this is called the orthoscopic image. The perspective is the event called pseudoscopic image. Perspective image. Look at the side area, the first indicator. Take the taking on the screen. But not in three dimensions. I have checked the Now, reward. We have just said during this period, gone into the nine hundred zero. So, thank you. Many other of the generations near the fertile but unsettled early area. We were born in Hungary. Uh, and median is written as in the key area. So, uh, born in the fifth June, 1900, Budapest, Hungary. In 1915, he became interested in the world of the average diplomat who, like the boss, was Jewish. Start briefly with Hungarian artillery, not at least during the World War I. He started higher education at the engineering university, just as World War I ended in 1915. What did the Star Wars had gone through experiences in war? Right? In spite of this, it will continue in war. So, Lipman in 1886 derived the theory of color photography. We published the complete theory in 1894 and won the Nobel Prize in 1908. Okay, in the man the idea of color photography using photography in Russia. It's not the basic science that selective absorption for the day. So color photography is print day. Don't use our photography. He used to work with that. Photograph is an option. So, uh, enough. Community was done. 
and the Pinto cardinal and the Pinto cardinal. So, uh, we gave the theory on this and showed this is possible. And from this, we got now, when the board was uh, awarded the Nobel Prize in 1970, you were requested by this. Presentation. Uh, the Kata Mohammed, popular article in Phoenix and published in the When is Rabar and Bhavadar? It contains some points that originated from my discussion with the Rabar, who was in the 1970s, the Rikas Rabar. So, due to be normally at the lunchtime, it's based on. So he was drafted into military. He left Hungary, continued his study in uh, Germany, and obtained a diploma in electrical engineer. So my profession, he was an electrical engineer. The remarkable thing about him is that uh, uh, he was not very much interested in civic for his study. That's why he became an electrical engineer. He started working on electrical microscope. For a company in uh, UK. But the interesting thing is that he is the only engineer awarded a Nobel Prize in physics. The only engineer who did was awarded a Nobel Prize in physics. So uh, he started putting doctorates with me under. His thesis research consisted of the construction of first high voltage, high speed cathode ray accelerator, which he used to study electrical transient in power transmission lines. So, after his doctorate, his work was completely different from his work, was completely different from the work that he had done. It was only after 1927 that he joined uh, this firm in Paris. Uh, they were working on the electric technologies. He worked in one of the physics, uh, physical laboratories to develop high pressure mercury at cadmium paper tanks. So he had very kind of experience. Well, in 1934 in Britain, first as a research engineer. British Tech Thompson Outcome Company, Therapy, the place. W gas discharge gas, infrared detection of aircraft, first compression of communication signal, and microscopy by the aircraft reconstruction. So in the last part, which is the optic part. So it's kind of dense at the front of the archive. Another interesting thing is. Now, during the Second World War, he was classified as an uh, uh, He was a Jew. Yeah. So, so uh, he was deprived of his place of work, and the share was given to him away from the uh, Laboratory, and he did his work. So he was a suspect. Uh, from 49, worked as Gulag Renda in electronics at uh, Stephen College. And from 58 onward, as professor of headline electronic physics at Stephen College of Science and Technology, professor emeritus, and senior research fellow in the Imperial College. 
Then he went to USA and also worked as this top scientist at uh, Columbia, which is uh, Yeah, Columbia Broadcasting Center. Uh, Stanford, Connecticut, USA, and visiting professor in New York State University. Uh, that's where the link to the NME starts. And then with that, New York State University of the Southern, the GW School. So you can go take the first book on the the very top I think 80 percent is basic optics. Laser, reflection, interference, and so on. A little bit of it's mainly based on this work, which is it. But so, you uh, must make uh, the form of this group. So, there, we bought and the uh, person became very good friend. George Stroh. George Stroh started his public thesis for the bar, right from that day. Maybe before that. And he started writing against Lee. He was incidentally in the same, uh, he was one time in the same book. He made some mistakes. Other Savas, he was at Dragons in 1966 and 64 on the Nepal, and then he was at the University of Kandam. In 67, Thomas M. Metal, Institute of Public Science Research Society. Other metal in 68, Albert Michelson metal of the Franklin Institute, Rambos metal of the Society, 70 metal of honor of the American IC, honorary doctorate of the University of Southampton, commander of the order of the Christian Fire, honorary doctorate, health unit of technology, so on and so forth. So even before he got the uh, Nobel Prize, he was in the same way. Suddenly he thought of uh, we had a very, very wide background. So, it's eligible. Well, right. Okay, SPI presents an annual award. Foundation in Hungary, so Hungarian Academy of Sciences also will be an international Danish award. He wrote some other popular books also. Inventing the Future, 1963, Innovation, 1970, The Mature Society, three books, popular too. He had patents and the theory of communication papers and processes of uh, IEEE. Forty-six. It's eminently very widely quoted. Very widely cited in the literature and so on. The most theory. These are the three papers which have won the Nobel Prize. It is a short paper in nature: a new microscopic principle. Microscopy by reconstructing the papers, proceeding to the society, describe the dominant papers. Part two of this microscopy by reconstruction of the society is done. These are two very long papers. So later on, he continued, continued his work and in Jota, he published a paper in 1966 after the invention of the Daily Express. From the cycle of intelligence microscopy to total wavefront construction. 
His motivation was actually to improve the resolution of electron microscope. And he thought that the uh, of the points that provide the path of the sun. He offset by preparing what is known as the character plate. Just like in Dance uh, Design, we try to correct the previous uh, elaboration by the you have black slab under the old corner slab on field length and armature of one of the curvature of the convex slab in the same language on field length. So, all field. Aggregation of one is offset of the and the aggregation. So, so he thought that he could record a monogram using optical wavelength and then correct the spherical aggregation because uh, developing the resolution of how much this might go to about 10 in each one. Right. The design of the coils which govern. Trajectory of the electrons in the electron microscope uh, could not be too hard. So, in this situation, then, can stop. We thought of correcting this, increasing the resolution power further by spreading the character plate and uh, putting it in the conjunction to the electron microscope. But that was not possible. The wavelength difference was simply in large. Wavelength difference with the optical character uh, plate and the electron plate was simply in large. Soft resistance. You know, so, even an optical wavelength, try to be the autograph, these are always on a top wavelength, and because of the other wavelength, the resolution goes down. So, there it was impossible. So he confined the okay, only using optical lens. of the eye cross. So this was his work. He was a contract person in the 19th century. Uh, so he wrote down these names like Kaiban, Siam, Pranam, and uh, then he constructed this. So uh, this, uh, when you eat, naturally, does not give you everything to the bottom of the body. Old age. And there's uh, a portrait of her. There was a story by the portrait. By the side of the portrait. Also, Clean Spit for Optics, the famous uh, book by Gordon and Wood. The chapter, the devotion on pornography uh, was written by the boss. There is an interesting story also there. Originally, it was supposed to be a book by Bob, Wolf, Yabar, and Hopkins. But ultimately, Yabar and Hopkins went to the father of the with the publisher. So, the writer for again, or author for again, born and Nineteen sixty-four, I read this book, Ocean on Holography. So it's because of that that sort of thinking of holography. So again, fifteen inches by twenty-four inches by laser transmission. So huge. So the Museum of Holography in New York, where uh, so 
This person wonder look. 
Following his data, started moving. This was the setup in 1960, 1960 for optical uh, You can see large lenses. So we have to be connected for uh, aberration from wide up. So these are very hot lenses. So this is lake. That is it. Then some of that means. Yeah. Well, it means hard at all. But for the reason to the current, but it means hard at all. Synthetic with option of that over here. Yeah. But that is good. And then you can change the reality. It is a good story. Let him get to the pulse composition. So, what? Sorry, I'm not going to So, we were working on radar in that time. What's good? No, that is possible. So, So we released this uh, reconstruction. So this was the first newspaper in age of homomers. That means right, the reconstruction of the two-dimensional transcript on the right side. December 12, 1963. This was the This was the first attempt on three d And this is the this, uh, why do you read a picture and the text the text is on the toy train? This was the first reconstruction three dimensional. So very then what toy train then the classics March 1964. One of these several variants of this why do you see how that? Yes, this paper was published in 65 popular scientific theory. Yes. Now talk, I talked about Lohmann. So in his own words he writes, and my that is caliber competitor 60 years ago. We did not know at that time what his work was top secret. My earliest contribution in holography appeared in a not so well known journal, was not well written, and was in not well known language. So he admits that it was not well written, it was not so well known journal, was a beautiful journal. Otherwise, actually, he had given this theory of holography to him. The idea was given by him before. So that's why he is the best. He has this already and they are very well. The twin image format, any program, they are himself trying to get around the two image per se. They are had various methods, but he could not succeed in separating the two images. Right, and I made programs due to a change of paradigm. The work on data different reconstruction to be called holography originally, and then exercise in physical order. The titles of day and my papers indicate that we look at holography in its information process. The next title is more generous than mine. The difference corresponds to the decisive progress in the second part of the paper, the first paper of one similar to four. But this is first paper. And here's the idea of separating the two images. So you open this. Or similar to Lohmann's paper. This one published 
As time went on, Emirates and Dali became very friendly with one another. He invited me to teach a summer school, a summer school in Shiga. It might have been a garden conference when Emirates said to me, I know you like the original function. Do you think I should spend the time and learn all about Vigna? Which is also used very widely in information. Cryptography. So this from an article uh, by Gestalt and Doman. All of that thing today is the Roman guides, and that was the straight and honest, generous with comment from the achievements of others, including mine. For instance, on page 1126 of his first paper, he writes as footnote The discussion of various similar techniques for eliminating the twin images is given by Lohman, Optica Extra, uh, 1956. So the idea of separating the twin images by offensive pedography was given by Lohman. Knowledge is these are likewise developed by use of communication theory approach. Another sign of generosity can be found in Emmett's article as a short history of optic group of the Willow and Web Three. On page 25, he acknowledges strong parallels. And he concludes that it's interesting to speculate on what might have been accomplished at Roman being a member of. Now, this was the electro optical sampling laboratory, GW Stroke, the big end. And uh, these people come out of the fall from a neighboring. So many persons. Very famous person. Yes, then can come. So, these later on continue to be the primary work from. Uh, So this was the group that is by right and post post matter is created in this. Okay. We also work on that. So these right hand mechanics was a uh, very part of this group. And so were Powell and Mr. Jackson were regarded as the father of vibration of That is the engineer in the application of holography. For the vibration. One look of the of the So these were two groups working at the uh, kind of cross traffic. So Stetson was later on, of course, the first at the United States Government Research Center. Now he is Eventually, he was in 1970 the Bristol National Bridge of the I also happened to spend a short time. And we came up together by the vibration of the paper major spectrum was published in office and radio. So, this is a third group, the last big group. Was in Russia. I'm overshooting my time for this, right? but uh, I'll, I'll just speed up now. I don't know if this one. Main character. What do you We were working at the Velvilo State Optical Institute in Navy Yard. What is called St. Petersburg, Russia. Uh, he named Petrograd in 1914, Navy Yard in 1914. We were all in next to the of the Daniel Grad. Obtained his first degree from the Department of Police and Union, Daniel Grad Institute of Fine Methods and Optics in 64. Joined the Baby Law Institute in 64 and entered December 61. He was an optical instrument for Soviet Navy. 58 onwards, he was provided uh, time for research as a candidate to this kind of PhD. 
This is a title after translation on the reflection of optical properties of objects in the main field of the radiation scattered away. We are working on the scattered properties of the scattered way. And it was through this route that he hit upon the idea of the body. So, inspired for his idea, inspiration for his idea was not very clear. He worked independently, locally. Exploration. Just as Gaba recounted his own moment of inspiration on a Chinese coach to prefer his own original feeling. Uh, because having been inspired by his thesis work by writings of Russian science fiction, author Janovic, the Primo, Shadows in the Past, and his Terror Ships. These were the novels written by. And uh, and you should say that you are inspired by the king's novel. The boss was also an admirer of the other novel. The boss, the in 1963, acknowledges so. Collaborated with this person for developing carbon development. Silver halide. So they experimented on some 200 inversion formulas in distinct chemistry and property to alter silver content, find the silver halide base, function signal to optimize the cell signal. Like they were, they had been able to publicize this concept of the exact reconstruction and encourage others to investigate the technique. Then you should have written influence. So, the close of that is uh, Publications were not in play. This is some story how he was uh, demotivated. And then he says that a uh, publication by that to be member of the Communist Party. After completing his thesis, studied in 1961, he returned to related work on infrared receiver in radar. He was at a loss to suggest the application of his method other than using it in correct chromatic ablation in optical system and use holograms with efficient creation. Neither application excited the attention of optical scientists. Circumstances led him to abandon his failed photographic research. During the publication of early papers in Soviet journals, producing personal enemies that he encountered in detail data. Once in university, Martin Luther tried to denounce him. So, simple student, as an American spy, I was also reminded of the fact that my father in law was a Jew. In the Soviet tendencies, but convenient criticism on which he found personal attack. The positive criterion was party membership, which could provide influential connections useful for career advancement and obviate suspicion of reliability. Fortunately, Denisik was not a member of the Communist Party, although it was not particularly unusual. Personal and political contentions uh, continued to bound him. Sixty-one, he asked the senior colleagues of his acquaintance, for example, deputy. To recommend his papers of publication, he was told that this would require letters of credit. Four oh, well known scientists. For publication, he was required to produce letters from four known scientists before it would be submitted to a journal. What it all published. So, we are getting in this country. Then, set up without. Government organizations are going to accept from the country. Deciding that such pre reviews were unreasonable, he bypassed Lebedev and approached the tradition Dinek. 
game of building enterprise matches. Very important. So, academic shelf delay, first of all. So, first paper was published in USSR academic shelf. So, two years after completion, two years after completion. Academician and now an enemy use its own high status to characterize the result of unworthy of attention. The work was done by the academician famous was unworthy attention because they were bypassed him. But Levitay would advise him to get the recommendations for four announcements. So he bought five David Hill and that was the big order in the paper it was published. So David Hill became a famous. So he called the unworthy of attention. In the working culture, it stayed in the opposing forces of patronage and persecution. Then you should discover that his work was first gained some interest. He was snubbed when support from Linux became known. But the papers based on thesis was appeared tardy. The powerful pattern who did then you career somewhat later was Lucas Perugia. So these were the three publications which are really seminal papers. So he's father of volume or that. He, no man, did not make a volume or that mission. So on the reflection of optimal properties of an object in the way field of life is scattered by it. So he's learning. Uh, on the reflection of optimal properties of an object in the way Translations are available now. And reflection of the optical properties of an object in the field of radiation is better by Then this field explode. The volume holography is one of the very important classes of hologram, particularly for display application and for uh, recording holograms in photo crystals. Because crystals are thick, so you could really record thick holograms. Of generating the state kind of way. You can transfer energy from one point. That's altogether. After that, awards scale very fast. But the works are appreciated by Western Princess Western In 1970, he was given Daniel Prize. First funding member of Soviet Academy of Sciences, Soviet Badge of Honor, National Prize of the Soviet Union, Dennis Rabawad of SPI, uh, Tissam Progress Medal, Royal Photographic Society, UK, Order of the Red Banner of Labor, National Prize of the Soviet Union, Exhibition of the Soviet Academy of Sciences, RWU Prize, RWU Good Prize of Optical Society of America, Good Medal of the Institute of Physics, UK. So, some of the public, it was not the big work that was denounced by an academician. Supported by another, resulting in the publication of this work. Academician of science. Critical job. In 1970, I am happy to. The content and the ground. What is the reason? Some of these is still not represented. 
Who might want to dance? Can you sit right there? But that leads these two to instruction. So this was the concern. We also studied the uh, original uh, setup by this time. Because we are working on photography in one time. For his work on color photography during photography without time. Very interesting thing. Danny Swift had provided testimony for the Nobel Committee judges for the board. Committee writes to some very famous people in that area. Seek their opinion. Uh, the 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 concept of what you want to Two means of life from some opposite direction. So they take the book of the novel. So if the first plane will be very good. If the plane is not enough, and the planes are making like this, then there will be nothing there. In this case, volume photograph. With the simplest case, make it sound like this. But when you are the simplest case is on like this, contrast like this. Then we we'll call the fringes of the around. This is recorded the dark fringes. this means straight of the pressure the intensity with some because light is incident let's say like this a part of the light is reflected from this from this from this from this from this from this so like interference with the Outing. The principle is the same. Each hit every part of the light that is reflected and the intensity gives. Now, what does it mean? The efficiency will be very high. So, the transmission hologram efficiency is low. For volume hologram, the efficiency can be very high. Depending on the material. That's what happens when uh, the sonic experiment is some of the matter of very fast, little liquid will fail. And you pass a thousand intersonic waves. Extending wave pattern. Specification of the liquid creating a grating, three dimensional grating. So you send light from this direction in the direction of light. The diffraction of light by ultrasonically created grating electrical liquid also is solid. Is a solid person. This detects light from born and wind, the rejector on this. Light being detected by the grating in the being created by. So, 
being relaxed. You have to show. We downgrade Lee's contribution. Made friends with Weber and Cole had some papers with him. And Cole had papers with Weber. And that he almost called him himself. He called him himself as almost a novelist. He wrote the first book on holographic. This book was severely criticized by Professor Emil Wood. He said that uh, only good contribution is that it prints the original three papers. We don't have access to You can see this printed at the end of the book. I purchased book just after publication. And then uh, I also had to pay the premium. Because we wanted variety. We published the first book on how to So 90% of the book is optic. You can see here, in the center, and brown, the top paper on the center of the Roman, brown, green, normal, brown, and it takes long and long. This is long and long. You go long and these are visitors from different uh, In the left hand side, you have the column left. Right here. And there are two images, one is going to transform on the zero order. And uh, AP plus CD is uh, printed correctly. The other is the inverted conjugate. It is an eminently readable article by Caulfield. The life and works of Emmett Lee, the personal perspective, where he uh, describes his uh, unfortunately, I'm running out of time. Thank you. Emmett Wood's escaping review of the Stokes book on holography had just come out. But to, he could be very diligent. He could be very diligent. But he knew Stoke was trying to get credit for Emmett's work and castigated him publicly for his attempts to do so. Of course, the article on Vegas was hilariously wrong in how Vegas work. We produced many wonderful students. I want to start doing this. Is about Ned. He was so successful in that regard. I only want to be the students I bought. That was a student's life. Because one direction of the person was <coughs> working on hospital, working on the most instead of the most and what when they are for the first time. Yeah. 
Okay, so that is the end of the story sharing session. And I'm sorry I took a more than a lot of time. We still will not complete it to my satisfaction. But if there are any questions, we can discuss briefly or we can discuss. But some short questions. Yes. In 3D uh, holography, there was an effect of halos. How does that uh, interfere with my action position? In 3D holography, when I have a 3D object which is coming from an offset, there was a halo effect by the frequency of the image. How does that uh, affect my reflection? It is because of the space. Yes, definitely. So, how, how is it altering my image which is coming? Oh, the image is a resolution. Just that. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, after the labels were imprinted, what? Okay, spray can be only number one of one of the two. So, now this is a shared nice place. So, this is what you got. It's extra information. See, for semester course, and all the great people, I would not go into space in such a short time. Will be a lot of discussion. What I said was that the reference being create the person. Right? Use cross picture. Think of another possibility. It exists. The visual object is status like what could happen. These components in the PRMO themselves oh. forget about the reference. Yes, yes. The scatter light from the object interferes among themselves. Correct for them scatter. And they create a random pattern or the scatters. But it does contain information about the object. We can use it for MVP, ownership, etc. So, this is my brain. So, it is working very well to the time. It can be bombed, then it can be bombed. Cool. Get off Then we have a 10 graph or 9 graph or 20 graph. Is more than 12 graph? Yeah. 
some body reflection of the gun. It's uh, uh, like in reconstruction step for when the light wave incident of the record. Uh, if the reflection from the uh, reflected and uh, back uh, in the same side, that term is reflection of the uh, mean reflection from the interference bracket, uh, fringe fringe bracket. Range. Reflection from range. Let me just high reflection for this multi layer for things. The show table reflects when this is in technology. Give me very strong reflection. These are elements of high reflection. Give me a little bit. So we will talk of 99.9% reflectivity. How can it happen? Single layer cannot be used as reflection. So we have 15, 17, 19, 13, 11 layers like this. So if each is part of the light is reflected, if you saw it, you reflect from another layer, the light is reflected, the rays, so that it appears constructively with this. And all the subsequent rays also appear constructively with this. Then the reflections add up. The same principle is used in one and That means the reflection from the bread to incident. Yes. But uh, light can go from one side to the other side. Passes. Good question. So, in hologram, can be transition hologram, or these can be reflected. Yes. Kind of hologram that you put in your house. Okay. You remain by my time. But reflection of it. You satisfy the condition for build up in transition over the right, then build up transition over the right. But, uh, yes, but a display application will not collapse. The general scan is reflection, means reflection from the back end. Yes. Not from uh, like a mirror, uh, but reflected and again uh, back to the same side. These are to the same side, from different planes. It is in phase, so it should be constructive. Uh, I have wondered that the beam is reflected from this black plane. Right? Now the beam goes from one side to another side. Mm -hmm. This is reflection, this is transmission. So, 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 you can adjust three. Yes, sir. This thing also happens with. This also happens in transmission. Huh. Uh, can we so say. We don't know what it's going We don't know what it's going But in transmission, we don't know. So it all has been based on the reflection. Yeah. The group here, 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 the group how do we take spectral into consideration in that case? Very good question. <coughs> Think of contrast on spectral. Very commonly used for everyone. Yes, yes. <coughs> But we are going to bring this to a few weeks of presentation. So we want to use, let's say, what we should do with them. Yes. Can you draw This proper dosage, proper consumption, will not be there. There are some concerns, I want to use this uh, point of time. So there, the picture is built up by. 
Because the ultrasonic waves are scattered by the tissue. Okay, so that means so that decreases the resolution. So there are also there are numbers in this case. Just as an optical holography, there are numbers in this case. There are numbers in this case. But the reflection is the reflection spirals which we would be observing, those are actually those it's are the transmission of okay. We cannot do the scattering of that, but transmitting of both okay. Okay, okay. So that's it. That's it. Yeah, better resolution. And what is the two hundred resolution is compared to five hundred resolution, four thirty nice resolution. But you cannot use white box. There is a example. Supposing there is a steel gun. Now there is a crack inside it. Casting. What does it mean that you can spawn in different places? So I think we will take your question later. After last, last, last question. Sir. Yeah, but in case of the getting what is not a glacial mode. I don't know if there is no need of this. Is that a question? Is that a question? The topic of thin hologram or thick hologram? Thin or modern hologram? Thin hologram. Reflection also is less than also. This is a characteristic of the sinusoidal nature of the intensity distribution of the frame. See, two ways are interfering. The shapes may be different. But if you start, we, we, we take the small part of the frame, the distribution is sinusoidal. If the two way is the same, so the distribution has to be of the type I1 plus I2 plus 2 under root I1 and I2 plus I5. Find the case that comes with two. So if you have a sinusoidal distribution, there are bound to be two ways. Bound to, let us take it mathematically, if you are mathematically inclined. Then take the Fourier transform. Plus one order. Plus one order. There is a linear grating when the distribution is this type: square wave, rectangular wave. Order plus one, plus two, plus three, plus one, minus two, minus three. I think the colleagues may be waiting for lunch probably. Two hours continuous possibility. Thank you.